Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to our online service of light. I'm Joanne and I'm one of the chaplains here at the East Lancashire Hospitals Trust. Whether you're joining us for the first time or you've joined us in previous years, you are very welcome here today. Today, we meet across the virtual divide and also at the Wesley Hall in Blackburn to remember together our babies and children who have died, the ones we love so dearly and yet only knew so briefly. There will be a service later in the year in Nelson on the 4th of December when we will join together in a similar way. In this service and in the church, as one, we will read the names of the children and remember them together. Let us begin with a prayer. As we gather today, together in all these places, and hold these dear children in our hearts, through this service, we pray that God would bless and comfort us. Amen. Sister Isabel Kelly was a great friend to the hospital's baby units over the years. Sadly, she is no longer with us, but her legacy lives on in the lives she touched and in her poems, which have brought comfort to so many in different ways. In a moment, we're going to hear one of her poems. And then afterwards, we're going to hear a poem written and read by one of our fathers, Michael Duffy. Losing You by Sister Isabel Kelly. I've lost my baby, I don't know why. I've lost my baby, I just want to cry. I wanted my baby, I wanted it alive. I longed for my baby, but it didn't survive. I feel so empty but I'm full of pain. I asked myself if I'll feel happy again. I had such plans of what we would do, never dreaming I wouldn't have you. I don't understand, I don't know why. It's just not fair that you had to die. I'll never see your first tooth grow, your first real smile, your footsteps flow. So many joys, so many thrills, your sense of adventure, all your little spills. So many memories that I've had to forego in losing the baby that I'll never know. You were part of me then, you are part of me still. Don't think I'll forget you, for I never will. I'll carry you with me my whole life through. I'll always have a place in my heart just for you. Trust me, I know how it feels. I know exactly how it feels to cry in the shower so that no one can hear you. I know what it's like to want for everyone to be asleep so you can fall apart, for everything to hurt so bad. You just want it all to end. I know exactly how it feels. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing little children to Jesus in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. The Gospel of the Lord. So after that reading, I just want to share with you a few thoughts. We've gathered here today, whether it be in person or virtually, to remember those dear children of ours that died. The simple act of doing this keeps their precious memories alive today in our hearts and in our lives, especially when we light the candles later and read their names. They are part of us, and always will be. And perhaps in doing this together, we can draw strength from one another, share our sorrows and our unfulfilled dreams, but also the joy and love that we had for our babies and children. But in truth, there are no words that can ever heal that pain, 
no matter how well intended such words might be. Because in all truth, we would wish that our children had not died, that they were still here with us. There will be amongst us today people of faith gathered, people of different faiths and people of wavering or no faiths. As a Christian, I draw on my faith that God is ever present in all of life, even in the darkest times, but also in the joys too. And I hope that the reading that Father David read will bring some comfort and strength for you today. For it tells us that in the world of Jesus' day, when children had no significance or voice, he affirmed that they were precious by blessing each one of them. Those around him, the grown-ups, had tried to shoo the children away, saying Jesus didn't have time for them. But he does, as he takes each child in his arms, places his hands on them and blesses them. Jesus demonstrated how precious each child is in God's sight, as each of your children and babies is and was to you. The Bible also affirms in many places that God knew us even before we were born. Indeed, it was he that knit us together in our mother's womb, as the psalm says, and that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It also tells that each one is known to him by name. Our children are known to God. They are precious in his sight. And since he made them, he will never forget them. Nor will he ever forget us, those who are left behind. For the psalm tells us that he walks beside us to give us comfort and strength and lead us, even in the valley, of the shadow of death, which indeed casts a long shadow. So, in our remembering as we gather today, may these words bring you some hope and some comfort. Amen. And now we come to the lighting of the candles. We light these candles in memory of all our babies, the following babies in particular. Annie Collins. Freddie Fawcett, Noah Fawcett, Baby Harrison, Alexander Alvarez, Jaden Taylor, Isabella Fielding. Baby Greenhouse, Evie Trotman, C. Sue Weaver Johns. Oliver Thompson, Harry Thompson, Simon Junior Thompson, Thomas Edward Cavill.
Sabiendo. Alice Pamela Hodgson. Roman Davies. Arthur Nicholas Gallagher. Poppy Catherine Ramsdale. Elsie Lynn Ann Ganley. John Jackson. Harper Rose Smith. Kobe Lee Healy. Issa Ravat. Ronnie Warden. Dominic Leo Lord. Rainbow Angel Lord. Star Aries Lord. Ava Jeffrey, and Timothy Moran. Maya Rose Whitehead. Felicity Grace Brown. Maggie Pearl Parsons. Violet Esme Bannum. Oliver Strachan, Kia Cole, Junior Savage. Benjamin Peter Liner. Katie Ray Payne. Harry Malloy Smale. Brittany Carol Ann Clark. Ava Waddington. Gabriel Newman Brown. Baby Olive.
puppy halt. Mary Holland. Afia Syed. Kayo Blue. Eva Rose Parker. Riley Mills, Holly Kima, Evelyn Hope Collins. Henry Christopher McKernan. Rex Bailey. Ellis James Webster. Cohen James Wrigley, Robbie Elliott, Freddie Doyle. Baby John. We remember all our babies, born too soon, born too still, always loved, always remembered. May, May these candles, candles burning bright be always our light of hope. May these lines burn bright in us to guide us on our way. May we find peace and strength for all that lies ahead. The journey is not complete and the loving still goes on. So let us not forget their lights burn bright today.
strength for each other all of our days. Saving your peace, Lord, help each your children. Grace, light, and laughter crown them each day. As we come to our time of prayer, if you want to join in making these prayers your own, please join in the response. When we say, God of all life, please respond with, hear our prayer. To the God of all life, in whom we live and move and have our being, let us pray. God of all life, hear our prayer. God of all life, as we come together today, we remember our babies and children that hold a special place in our hearts and homes. In our gathering, we pray for them and for one another. God of all life, hear our prayer. God of all life, we thank you for the time we had with our children. May we be strengthened by the love we have for them and all that we receive from them in such a short time. God of all life, hear our prayer. God of all life, who knew the love of a human family, we pray for each family whose lives have been broken by the loss of their dear children. Give them comfort and hope in their grief, and unite them in love. God of all life, hear our prayer. God of all life, to whom each child is precious and made in your image, give us courage and strength to entrust our children once again into your tender care and your unfailing love. God of all life, hear our prayer. And so we gather all our prayers into one, joining in the words of the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The world may never notice if a snowdrop doesn't bloom, or even pause to wonder if the petals fall too soon. But every life that ever forms or ever comes to be touches the world in some small way for all eternity. The little one we wished for was swiftly here and gone, but the love that was then planted is a light that still shines on. And though our arms are empty, our heart knows what to do, for every beating of our hearts says that we love you. So my name is Fazal. I'm the Imam and Muslim chaplain here at the East Lancashire Hospitals Trust. It's a great pleasure to be invited today to share a few words of reflection and prayer on this annual service of light. I today wish to share with you a beautiful poem entitled The Rosebud, which will be followed by a verse from the second chapter of the Holy Scriptures, the Quran, which talks about how we can perceive and react to pain and suffering sent by God. So here's the poem. It is only 
a tiny rosebud, flower of God's design. But I cannot unfold the petals with these clumsy hands of mine. The secret of unfolding flowers is not known to such as I. God opens this flower so sweetly when in my hands they fade and die. If I cannot unfold a rosebud, the flower of God's design, then how can I think I have wisdom to unfold this life of mine? So I trust in him for his leading each moment of every day. I will look to him for guidance each step of the pilgrim way. And the path that lies before me, only my heavenly Lord knows. I'll trust in him to unfold the moments just as he unfolds the rose. So no one likes pain and suffering or calamity, but sometimes God has to take in order to give. But it's crucial to understand his giving is not always in the form we think we want or we like. He knows the Almighty what is always best for us. And so God says, but you may like, you may dislike something when it is actually good for you. And you may like something when it's actually bad for you. So God knows whilst we do not know. We pray that God grant you all the serenity to accept the things you cannot change and the courage to change the things you can and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. When we are weary and in need of strength, when we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we long to share, when we have decisions that are hard to make, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of the winter, in the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of the summer, in the rustling of the leaves and the beauty of the autumn, we remember them. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, in the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. Thank you for joining us today for our service of remembrance. And a final prayer of blessing to send us on our way. As we leave this place, may God go with us. May his blessing be with each one of us and those who we have remembered this afternoon. And may his love and hope, comfort and strength remain with us this day and always. Amen. Amen.